In this video, we will show you how to replace your downstream O2 sensor. Let's get started. Okay friends, to get started on our downstream O2 sensor, we're gonna start by making our way down along the backside of the engine. It's important to note, the O2 sensor is connected to your exhaust. The connector itself is right down along this area, which is also right next to your exhaust manifold, which can be very hot. Make sure it's cool to the touch before you continue. Now with that said, we're gonna make our way all the way down behind here and we're looking for two connectors. The connector we're looking for is the blue connector. That's for the downstream O2 sensor. On this connector, you'll find a little squeeze tab where my index finger is. Carefully press that in either by a finger or with a small prying device and then separate it. Once you have that pulled apart, inspect both sides of it. Make sure you don't see any corrosion. Assuming it looks good, follow that wiring to where it connects onto the firewall. There we are. Now I can see that this is connected to a stud that comes from the firewall. I'll use a trim tool and carefully get in between the area to separate it. After you have that off of there, continue on underneath the vehicle. If you were to look at your exhaust and then follow it along the shield, you'll find along the firewall, you have an area where the wiring gets clipped into. Carefully separate that. Now let's move a little bit further back. We're gonna find another mounting point here. For this, we'll use a trim tool. Carefully get in between the body and the tab here and separate it. Make our way to our last mounting point. Now we can grab that cable and pull it down. Continue on to removing the O2 sensor from your exhaust pipe. To remove the O2 sensor, use an O2 sensor socket. It looks like this. It has a slot going through it for the wiring. Once you have it broken free, you should be able to unscrew it by hand. There it is, friends. Before we continue by installing the brand new downstream O2 sensor, make sure that you inspect the hole. You wanna make sure that the threaded area is still in good condition so the new O2 sensor can make good contact. This one looks fine, so let's continue. Let's carefully take that brand new O2 sensor and start it in the hole. It's important to make sure you turn this in as far as you can by hand, so you're sure that you're not cross-threading it into the pipe. While you're doing this, be extremely careful not to damage your wiring by twisting it too many times. Once it's snug by hand, continue on with your O2 sensor socket. Once that's tight, let's start re-securing our wire. We'll slide it in through this clamp. Now we'll continue on up to this area. Typically on your original O2 sensor, you're going to want to try to remove the clamp and then install it on the new cable. If not, just go ahead and get yourself a new clamp. Looks like this. It's going to press into the hole and then you can latch it in. Let's get our cable up there. Make sure it's secure. 
Now let's get up to our next mounting point that's on that heat shield. We'll slide it in position, up and over, and then slide it into place. Now let's make our way back up into the engine compartment. Inside the engine compartment, let's have a look at our original O2 sensor. We have this clip on here that needs to go onto the stud that's on the firewall. Use some cutters and carefully trim off the wire tie area of it. Once you have that cut off, we'll continue on with a new wire tie to hold our new cable in place. Let's slide this in place. Press that onto the stud as far as we can. I'm gonna take up some of that slack now. Trim off the excess on your wire tie. Press that in, listen for a click, give it a tug to make sure it's secure. After that, you just want to ensure that there's no extra cable that might be hanging down on your hot exhaust. Assuming it looks good, go ahead and start it up. Make sure you don't have a check engine light and then take it for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.